Dark energy has repulsive gravity. Seriously. Okay, I'll be honest, at this point, we pretty much have no idea what dark energy is. It's just the name we give to the phenomenon that drives the accelerating expansion of our universe. And we can rule out some ideas of what dark energy might be, but there's still a lot of mystery. But regardless, we can talk about how it behaves in a sort of model agnostic way. And strangely, even though it behaves like something with positive energy, it still has negative gravity. Let me explain. Unlike normal matter, which is clumpy, a feature of dark energy is that it seems to be uniform throughout all of space. One way we know this is because the universe seems to be expanding equally in all directions. In fact, one of the potential explanations for dark energy is that it's a feature of the vacuum of space itself. Perhaps it's just the energy associated with the ground state of the quantum fields that permeate our universe, for example. Regardless, it seems to be the case that for every cubic meter of space, you have the same amount of dark energy, about 0.6 nanojoules. And that means that the more space you have, the more energy you have. As an aside, that energy density is very, very small, which is why we don't see expansion inside galaxies. Anyway, because the quantity of dark energy seems to be constant in any given volume of space, if the universe gets bigger, then there's more dark energy. And that's key to understanding how it has a repulsive gravitational effect. To illustrate this, I'm going to lie a little bit, but I hope it'll at least help you build intuition. Imagine that we have a perfectly sealed piston with only vacuum inside the piston's chamber. If you try to pull the piston out, you're adding just more vacuum inside of the piston. However, we know that a vacuum has a certain amount of energy, so by making the vacuum larger, you're increasing the energy inside the piston's chamber. But that energy has to come from somewhere, so it comes from the work done by the piston, meaning that you're fighting against some force pulling the piston inward. In that sense, there is a negative pressure. Whereas positive pressure pushes outward, negative pressure pulls inward. Now, all we have to do is look at Einstein's field equations and note that not only do energy and momentum gravitate, but so does pressure. So if positive pressure gravitates positively, then negative pressure must gravitate negatively. So long as negative pressure is stronger than the positive energy, the net result from a constant vacuum energy is a repulsive gravitational effect. For those who are interested, the little lie is that energy isn't actually conserved in this setting. Nonetheless, it's still a good way to build intuition. That said, if you want the technical answer, here you go. If dark energy is truly constant across space and time, then it can be viewed as a fundamental geometric property of the universe. And if that's the case, then it should respect the geometric symmetry of our universe, namely it should be Lorentz invariant. But the only geometric invariant that can play the role of a stress energy tensor is a constant times the space-time metric. But because the space-time metric has a Minkowski signature, this stress energy tensor has a positive energy density and a negative pressure, exactly as described earlier. From there, it's just a matter of solving the Einstein field equations given a matter content with equation of state W equals minus one. And we see expansion of space rather than contraction, which is what would be expected for attractive gravitational behavior. Of course, we don't know if dark energy is truly constant across space and time. For that, we'll need better data. Dr. Blitz, the